Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Con of Cons! Boy, do I have an exciting episode for you folks today. Finally time to get our revenge on the Jurchens and their traitorous something. They invaded us. So in turn, we shall invade them. I'm actually going to do an invasion of Mongolia here, and I want a lot of people will be asking, Hey, wait a minute, why would you invade the smallest kingdom? And the answer is because that way the war score will constantly tick in my favor. You see, I am going to go for it all. They're like, uh, all or nothing kind of thing. I'm going to try and take every province, and that's going to be a fair bit of work. And there's always the chance, well, if China comes after me, I'll just instantly surrender. But I don't know. There are, like, I do have, like, Perm, the Salmonid. I do have threats on my border who, if I get weak enough, might decide to try something. And if I have to get out, then so be it. I don't know why we have so many broken mercs here. Anywho. Uh, where was I? Where was I? Oh, yeah. So basically, we're going to be invading the Jurchens today. It's finally time. Do I have any prisoners I can ransom? Apparently just that. He's Catholic? Oh, wait, right. I've got some of the religion simply screwed up. Anyway. So, keeping this means the war score will get about as close to 100 as quickly as it can. And that means if I have to bail out sooner, then there's a better chance of me being able to actually bail out. Which is rather important. I failed to select a lot, I think. This seems about more reasonable. Yeah, right. Okay. God. Like I said, I really wish I could, like, raise my levies before. Oh. Talk to him about being diligent. Did he get it? No. But at least he's not slothful. You know, like I said, if China comes at me, I, they, they've got a whole pile of claims on me. It's no surprise, really. What is this war for? Did your war over way? I can't, like I said, they've got a pile of de jure claims on me, and they have over 50,000 men. In all honesty, there is not a damn thing I can do to stop them. So, I just have to concede defeat. They have a limited number of claims on me, and it really only extends as far as these three provinces that I have here. Which is okay. It's it's not necessarily a terrible thing. Yeah, they've got somewhere around 6,000 men, I remember. God, gathering takes so long out here on the steps. I really wish as, like, Tengri we could have our levies raised before we declare war. Castle wall's been built in Bird. Or is... yeah, that's Bird, okay. Good, good. Now we just need money. Though the riding grounds are probably a little more important, I think. Okay, where are you going? March 19th, March 20th. Can we persuade them to not do that? Yeah, I was hoping they would see things our way. Okay, my heir is finally of age. Eh, you know what, you're not the greatest, but you'll have to do. Mm, sure. Um... Yeah. 300 prestige, I think I'll take the money. It's not much money, but I'm also really, really poor. Okay. Yeah, that looks like a decent setup. Or a decent setup, not set out. So anyway, I'm sure a lot of people have been noticing a reduction in videos lately. As of, I hope if I do this right today, Monday, if I'm getting... Oh god, god, what a... Oh, I did not... What just happened? Wow. 
Whew, wow, I didn't even have my hand on the space bar for that. Shit, I was not paying attention to that. Because I was not expecting that. Alright. Let's try that again. Or are they magically going to congeal more soldiers out of nowhere? Slash, I was probably just not paying attention. It tends to happen. I don't think there'll even be a terrain penalty. Yeah, I figured not. Yeah, alright, he took twice as many casualties as me. I can just instantly end his siege. So now we'll just have to chase him down into his own territory. I don't really have much else coming, do we? Nope. Tell you what, you boys can go home. You guys catch up with the rest of us. Yeah. Alright, so like I said, I kind of expected the Chinese to come after me, and... Like I said, honestly, there ain't jack shit all I can do about it. Killed by a mob of angry peasants trying to collect taxes. What a terrible way to go. Alright, riding grounds are almost built. That's what I like. All united, perfect. Wow, we are actually slightly over our retinue cap now. Okay. Yeah, probably because we lost that province. Yeah, okay, he's probably gonna head here. That's fine. Uh, so, once the riding ground's complete, I've been trying to get one of these up so I can show you guys. You'll notice that we actually no longer get heavy infantry. The very number of heavy infantry we get is contracted by having a riding grounds. And likewise, so is the number of light infantry. And instead it's added to a pool of horse archers and light cavalry. Do we get heavy cavalry? Oh, riding grounds gives a slight number of heavy cavalry. I'm hoping this will create, let's call it a more flavorful, yes, more flavorful, uh, time out here on the steps. It's, like I said, kind of silly. Adultery is a sin. Not really. I'm fairly certain adultery is quite encouraged in Tangriism, but I want zealous. <laughs> what can I say? Zealous is nice. Yeah, you ain't getting up there. No running away for you, boy. All dead. Okay. Well, we're going for broke. It doesn't really matter where we start, I suppose. So yeah, as we start to get riding grounds out here, I'm kind of hoping that uh, my army composition will transform into something that makes sense. We still have step warrior lodges, which actually will give us some heavy infantry. But at least this way we won't have a basically a European army of, you know, 99% heavy infantry running around. Which, as I'm sure everyone will agree, is kind of silly to have. Looks like he's got some rebel trouble. Yeah, we're going for broke. We're even going for, like, this stuff down here. Because afterwards, we're probably going to end up invading the Korean Peninsula. Or the rest of it, I should say. Um, after that, I'm considering going after Japan. Japan would be very useful. Very useful, indeed. Off to the dungeons! Yeah! We're gonna mostly just... Wa do the usual way of walking through. Since we only need each province, the county, to uh, get rid of the rest of it. Okay, my son has given me a grandson. Excellent. Sixth of March, second of March, perfect. Although I don't particularly care for that. Oh yeah, we got a heck of a bad uprising here. 
These will be fairly easy to conquer as he fights off the rebels. We can take his holdings instead. You dare come spread Hindu to me? Oh, well. Hmm. There are. Uh, let's. You know what? Hindu is different, at least. That's. that's uh, it's different from the usual, uh. garble I get around here. It's usually just Islam. See, already the war score is at 100%. And. You know. Even if things go wrong or whatever. Still be able to. <laughs> Hopefully, anyway. Uh. What do you call it? I, I've actually lost my train of thought here. Should be able to hopefully win out eventually. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, we'll, we'll like win out and take as pretty much all of this. We're, like I'm going to try and get as much as I can. I'm mo it's that's it's mostly that. Wow, I cannot speak today. Okay, more kidnapper events, which really makes me worried. Events like that make me paranoid that people are plotting against me. Uh. September 23rd, September 11th. Very well. Hindu For Hindu, I will be merciful. Like I said, it's an improvement over the usual drivel I get around here. Man, a Hindu horde. That'd be awesome to think about. But no, we're, we're going to remain Tangri at least for a while now. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, I'm 64. I better not pull another 100-year-old friggin' uh, emperor out of my ass. I mean, really, that, that was great the first time. But come on here. Especially a con. Like, the average lifespan of my cons is usually like 35 at best. Closer to 30. Hmm. Oh well, hopefully this shouldn't be too long. Okay, on to Soku. Or whatever the hell that is. Sokuju, sorry. Alright, so how's the Mall Authority doing? 52%. We're losing Holy Wars. Ugh. Um... Yeah, outside of that, I think we're okay, though. Siege camps are ripe for banditry. Sure, sure. Oh, no, he's trying to take that back. Well, after we're done here, I think we can go grab it. I don't know if we'll be able to save it, though. So that loses 9.8% a week. That loses 6.3%. I really wish outnumbering had just a little more effect on it. Alright, well, we'll have to re-siege it. That's fine. It's not really that big of a problem. Like I said, we can chase down their army if we gotta. But yeah, this actually shouldn't take quite as long as you'd think. Um, we go to the Jure duchies here. Like, look at some of the size. Like, there's a two-province duchy that's just that size here. Taking the northern part's going to be pretty easy. Okay, now... Yeah, I figured he'd escape. I don't really care, though. Like I said, Hindustan Hinduism earns at least a little respect from me. Alright. Man, I'm gonna have a Norse kid. No, no, wait, right. Ultima Genet here, the youngest. Youngest takes all.
Ah, oh, man, how long am I going to have to chase you around for? Is it forever? Probably. Well, no, it looks like we'll catch you here, finally. We deal so much damage in the pursuit phase that we basically won't have any ping pong to do with the armies, which is great out on the steps because, as you can imagine, battles take for freaking ever. Uh, well, not really. So much as just travel time is terrible. Um, where are we? That's great. Um, you and. A ton. Although that's irrelevant, whatever. Okay. Problem fixed. Yeah, so... Okay, during visit. Okay, good. He likes us more. Kind of late, but it's something. He's hoping he doesn't declare quite as many wars on us now. Yeah, this... Oh, great, this guy's zealous. Go, Chancellor. You're my best shot. You're gonna keep being able to raise armies. You know what? There's not enough men here to stop me. Hmm, well, that's going well. August 20th, you'll arrive in Paiu, and then we will chase you. I can rest in heaven. October 2nd, good. We'll catch them there. Kill most of them. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh well. Can't all be good, I suppose. But yeah, once we get these two provinces, we'll have, at least on the map, a lot of it occupied. Um, I really should probably take something here that will give me access to invade them. Yeah. Seed is planted. All the better. Come on, stupid January 1st lag. Ugh. Maps rough. All right, so we've got you know step riding grounds. Where is it? Why do I keep inheriting all these counties? Can these people not secure their freaking successions? I mean, really? What? Oh, yeah. Well, something, I suppose. Let's give that off again. Yeah, we need uh, castle walls in pretty much everywhere I can get it. Uh, oh, we got castle walls. We need castle walls too, which we can't get yet. Sadly, actually, getting Castle Walls 2 is tricky related to technology of improved keeps. Uh, right, it's here. Well, I wish I could hold my cursor over the map and it would show... Oh, wait, it does kind of show me. Right, so we're almost in improved keeps 1. That's a good start. Apparently, nowhere else has better improved keeps than Constantinople. I know Antioch has some decent tech. Uh, military advances. No. Really? They don't even have improved keeps here. It's flat out wow. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Uh, improved keeps. Yeah, I think I'm at uh, maximum white. Oh, no, wait, this might be higher. Oh, wait, improved keeps his economy, isn't it? I'm a dumbass. Whoops. 
No wonder that no nowhere had it. Yeah. Anyway, it looks like the global maxims too. Too. So, although I will try and you know invest more into it. Good. Gotta keep crushing the armies that pop up. Or I can hire mercenaries to do that. Five point eight five, eh? No, I really can't actually. That's kind of a shame. I demand a matrilineal marriage, just like I was promised. Jerk. Alright, whatever. It's not that big a deal, I suppose. Um, useless. Good, just walk right through this. Yeah, we're going to need to head back up there. We've almost got a, we've got a fair bit of jurchens down now. But yeah, like I said... European army. And this is with my retinues, too. Which is a lot of them. So, I'm glad that we can finally get these riding grounds and stuff. Is there really nowhere with even slightly better than, like, you know, even like 2.1? Proof keeps 2.0 now. No. There just really isn't. And again, tech out here on the steps is hard to come by at all. Alright, at this point I actually know the route they're going to take. It's going to go from there to there to there. And then we'll beat them. And then we'll head down here. Yeah, we're closing in on victory here. We okay, oof. January 1st. Hate it. Wish there was a way I could better see this. Like, the gray of the jurchens kind of clashes. It's tricky to actually see. This this is a little better. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. Ah, at long last. Alright. Died bravely on the field of battle. Acceptable death. Alright, you're 26, so you're the new front man. You're 18, so you'll take over. Perfect. Good. I'm very glad he, that the Emperor's... Ah, uh, try at least. Well, we're getting closer here. And the number of troops that they can raise has been steadily dropping for a while. Well, hey, okay, so that's not part of China. They actually have their own empire. The Anchuchuchu Empire. I'm not going to form it, obviously. That would just be stupid, but... I'm actually debating whether or not I need to go for full everything. Or just maybe take the stuff down here. Wife's pregnant. Strong claim. Damn it, even my kids have claims on the Empire. That could be a bit of a problem. Okay, we got a couple more of them. Alright, now I touch these guys, I feel more comfortable if I have to end early. For any reason. Alright, well, let's try actually assaulting a full castle and see how it goes, because... The fort level is still pretty low out here. It's probably not going to go that great. Actually, that went surprisingly well. Alright, where do we get more men? 30 more men, something. 
Four, four hundred eleven. Not bad. Alright, an extra 500 men. Not gonna hurt. Gather them here. Wow, that's even more heavily uh, built up. They've got a barracks. Little more painful. Not too bad, though. Can definitely forcefully speed this up. Just gonna start forcing. Gonna try our way, make our way down here. First, though, we need to cut that army off. Perfect. Let's try and, you know, take the stuff down here. If we really have to leave, like, a pocket here, or whatever. Ooh, another riding grounds was finally built. And another sun. Am I just getting lots of Norse blood? I mean, I would have figured that I'd have, you know, a few more kids that look like this or something, but... Ooh, easy siege. Boom. It's going to be a while before any of the other troops arrive. That's kind of expected, though. Good. This will be quick. Alright, so we've almost got the whole of the southern region. We're gonna head down here now and grab these two. After that, it's just, you know, these three provinces, these four, perfect. Yeah, it's a nice quiet episode, so I should be talking about something else. Um, we're now releasing two multiplayers per day, uh, me, Shenra, and Arumba, and this is actually causing me to choke on weekends at this point, because we record, I kid you not, you know, over 14 per day, obviously, but we're actually recording like 18, just so we have an emergency buffer in case things go wrong or something. Ooh, that's a painful one. Ugh, that hurt. Hurt a lot, man. Sieging army starting to get weak. Got like another hundred men somewhere. All the way out here, lovely. As the reinforcements start to gather, I want to consider a personal re-raise now that we have, uh, you know, a lot of these. And. Sure, we'll grab that. Oh, alright, I don't even have an ambition. Uh, I definitely need to improve my stewardship first. Horse archers at least make running through these sieges a little easier. Alright. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. Send them that way. I don't think, yeah, there's no more real quick, easy ones, are there? Never are. Uh, oh well. At least these should hopefully go quick. Mm, Prince Kaelvin of the Mongol Empire. I see. Well, he's my eldest son, so there's little I could bother. Oh, yeah, sure. Caravans, that means free... M m free Enux. Free Enux. So. Uh, court. Add a free Enux. Yeah, here we go. Eh, he's a decent chancellor, but mine's slightly better. That's alright. Enoch's usually come with a decent stat on them. It actually makes them kind of useful. Is that a lake? Yeah, that's a lake. Okay. I can find someone better. He's still my eldest son, and thus is my 
My my responsibility to educate. Alright, let's get decent. Whoa, 25, 22, and 19. Well, we can replace 19 guy there. Alright, so 16, 15, 13. That's not a bad set of generals. But yeah, we're, we're starting to tear through the last of their stuff here. Oof, annexing all this in one war is a rough, rough thing to do. Taking a while. I'm actually surprised he hasn't like tried to make peace with me. Usually the AI thinks that I'll accept by now. Wow, we're getting our ass handed to us here. Freaking generals are retarded. Well, <clears throat> at least that will take a while then. Good, you're at half morale. Alright, last three provinces. They have almost nothing left. Alright, so we just need to reduce their men a little more and that stops the siege anyway. Oh god, this is going to be terrible. Come on, guys, we just need to win a few more sieges. Alright, two more sieges. Here's hoping we can pull it off. Wait for the first tick of morale just to help out. It's not going too bad. Uh, but, my dear lady, you are fat. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not certain what to do about Japan. Did I just get my ass kicked again? Oh, God. Must have some damn good generals or something there. I don't even think I have a penalty, do I? Nah. Never penalty. Siberia. Oh, no, no. Yeah, no, I don't. Alright, final siege. Yeah, we can win this. I keep thinking that I need way more troops than I do because I'm used to playing without horse searchers. But finally, after all this damn time... Wow, that's... That was incredibly laggy. <laughs> Mongol Empire. Perfect. Well, now we've got a good chunk of that. Now we just need Korea. I think I'm going to end off the episode here, though. As we grow exponentially in power, what? Let, let's check the realm tree. Yeah, we are up to a theoretical maximum of eleven thousand. It ain't bad. China is at a theoretical maximum of fifty-four thousand. Oh man, I'm gonna have to give all this away. Yeah, this is a good time to cut the episode. So, like I said, uh, I'm kind of a little busy on weekends now. I'm going to try and like get some episodes up in advance for future weekends. So, I apologize for the lateness of the various episodes recently. I am doing my best, but uh, the workload's increased exponentially, and I got some stuff in my personal life that's taken up a fair bit of time. I also really want to try and uh, play a new game that I got called Dark. It actually seems to be a lot like. Uh, Vampire the Masquerade, for those of you who know of that. Bloodlines. Classic game. Love it. Uh, and a new game is recently released that I've been looking to play. It's not something I'm going to put on YouTube. It's like a single player uh, action RPG. It's not something that you guys would enjoy watching. Anyway, wow, that's a shady diviner. So thank you everyone for watching. As always, this has been the Khan of Khans himself, whose empire now stretches to one of the seas, and soon to the other. Signing off. Oh, whoa, that's an East Francia. Or Francia. <whistles> wow. I, I hate to say it here, but... I think he's going to form the Holy Roman Empire, guys. Might actually be a unified resistance to uh, fight me off. <laughs> anyway... 
Yeah, that's a good for the episode. Thank you everyone for watching. As always, this has been Calvin, signing off.